Hello everybody, so I just got myself the new Saima X8 and I had a, I had a little bit uh, idea what I was getting into but as you can see in the upcoming video it didn't behave the way I expected so I'm gonna talk for the first time on top of a video and I'm try gonna try to explain what uh, was going on through the day um, and uh, I hope this uh, will have some kind of uh, answer, I mean resolution, I don't know how you say it. Uh, so anyone out there who is uh, extremely jealous of all those aerial photography uh, clips that are out there, uh, you can get the Saima, but you should be very careful. Bye. I got a defected uh, Saima, so I'm gonna make this small video and I'm gonna try and explain what you see here. Um, I'm probably gonna edit some of it out eventually, but I'm just gonna watch it and uh, comment about uh, stuff on the screen. So uh, let me sync the time codes a little bit. Mm. So this is a fresh battery, I just the uh, first takeoff of the day and it seemed alright, I mean I got a little uh, height, uh, this is when I had the uh, headless mode turned on and uh, I was kind of like trying to see how the panning is going, uh, this time, this uh, second I moved into high mode to let it have a little bit of a a movement uh, so I'm passing over I'm basically a little bit uh, overhead now and I'm just trying to balance it and it keeps on shaking back and forth and and this uh, second I'm just pulling full power and just flips over so I took it back up and I had a lot of this is the reason why I turned into high mode was to try to push it forward and it didn't want to and in the headless mode I had it like rotated so I tried to like looking in that direction and then like changing a few degrees and trying to pull it into the wind I mean there wasn't any wind it was like completely still the entire uh, the entire morning flight was uh, extremely calm and you can see me like really hard panning is uh, not panning like uh, pushing the stick really hard and you see the drone like pulling in but it doesn't have any in between it's just like zero a hundred zero a hundred and so I'm trying to push it in to the wind against the wind and it just flips and now it crashes again you know, it just I try to push it into the wind and just did like a full power on off on off and then just went straight down so this is a uh, attempt number three um just didn't got any height so in this point i changed the battery um, and this is seriously like two minutes into the like five minutes flight all together like uh, with going and fetching it back so this is a fresh new battery so then maybe the battery was dead and it went into a uh, safe mode so just took it up uh, this is not headless mode this uh, flight and it's a little bit longer but uh, I'm uh, I get a little bit of height and I feel more confident you know it's, uh, it doesn't do anything weird and I'm trying to like let the sticks go and like let it hover and see how it handles so basically this entire flight I'm not trying to do anything too flamboyant I'm just trying to keep it overhead and like turning it different directions now again this is not the headless mode this is a freestyle so maybe the, a lot of the problem is coming from the headless mode I have no idea what's going on here um, now you see it it just loses altitude this is I would never 
a fly like this. I mean, maybe it's because I used to fly a model airplane. I don't go just down. I do like a, a loop and I like pen like like pen. I, I like approach into the landing. I don't know how well drones like fall down and keeps themselves steady. You know, just and I know that it doesn't help the photography. So you just keep the angle going in and uh, it always works better when you have like a direction a direction you're trying to go into but anyway this is a it went pretty well this little flight and suddenly just dropped out of the sky and this is a it's, it's less than a minute and a half it's like two minutes perhaps two minutes the entire flight and it just loses energy and uh, this is a little bit uh, afterwards, so I just reset the compass, you know, turn it off, turn it on again, sync the remote, resync the compass, and uh, again, I'm not trying to go anywhere, just staying real close. And every time I get a few meters away from the remote, like this particular moment, it's probably around. 15 minute, uh, 15, 20 meters and you can see the shaking and just goes down, goes down and yeah this is a, a short flight, this is like 5 meters, like the other side of the road I just went over these bushes you see on the left side of the of the screen when you see the road and just just goes down again this is the road and a second before that it crashed on the left side really like where you see the shrubberies and actually this flight I tried to use the headless mode again and just try to go the other direction and you just see it crazy going up and down up and down I'm, I'm I know how to fly I mean I have like a helicopters and I fly like no, uh, kite, not kite. So this is I tried to take it into the garden. This is a good. No, uh, actually I had the GoPro. Cro, this is a good one, but I had the GoPro on a narrow, so I was you just see it goes up and straight down, like completely misses direction. So this second I'm like setting it up. I'm sinking the compass again, and. Uh, you know, I'm just turning the power on a little bit and just drops down. Now see this, I'm, I'm, this is the remote down and propeller is going up. They're still spinning. Now they stop. Yeah, I'm feeling. Okay, so I just, I push the lever up, this is down and it still goes. Now it's up, it doesn't go, down, it still goes up now it's stop yeah now some people is trying to talk to me about it again i'm resetting it uh, turning it on turning it off now this one is good wait for it i'm really i'm i'm not even 50 percent i mean just trying to get the propellers to spin up and before i pull it up out of the ground so i'm just giving it a little bit of power and this is completely by itself when you see me going like this i was sure you can see my hands but it's just i'm going up and like putting the shift down and like the throttle down and now it doesn't respond at all and it now it does this is hands free just uh, trying to s get some power on the on the throttle and this is like it took off by itself up and down up and down I'm trying to land it this whole time I'm just trying to get it to stand every time I turn put the lever down it goes up and trying to like give it a little bit of power so it won't crash it just goes up and down and up and down this is now it's really like ran off and I this is full power I didn't do that at all at all and this, I'm just 
this second I was kind of freaking out and yeah I mean I, I'm not like a professional professional airman but I'm decent I mean I know how to balance a helicopter I know how to do a little bit of 360 I know how to fly some model airplanes and stuff like that I mean I'm not professional but today I uh, had an email sent to uh, through eBay to the seller and I'm trying to get a refund and I'm not really sure how it goes uh, from Israel because the um, post office is extremely expensive here and I'm not really sure I mean it I think it's gonna cost like the same amount as the entire thing cost me so I don't know I don't mind like sending them a picture of me breaking it like with a hammer just get a refund but if I need to pay for the delivery I'm just gonna tear it apart and try to get some new motors in it and a new control board and maybe a different remote control and just trying to get it to balance itself um, just a little side note and um, the first clips uh, when I'm outside uh, I did have the GoPro attached to the drone uh, the Saima so you know people talk about the balance of it so maybe it was my fault I don't know but the second flight still it's uh, I have three batteries it's the third one I didn't use it outdoors and I just tried it outside of my house and this uh, this behavior of the uh, quad was extremely unexpected actually it didn't behave that crazy before this is like brand new crazy and it didn't have the camera attached that time and I did give it some time to sit down and recalibrated the compass and everything so I don't know that was like completely freakish behavior so anyways I hope uh, this is a uh, good information for anyone out there who's thinking about a uh, buying a Saima so it does a uh, handle a uh, GoPro 3 so it's a pretty heavy camera with the full underwater case it, it flies well I mean it has enough power to pick itself out of the ground and fly up but I just got a defected one so I hope uh, I will find a different technique I don't know maybe they have a good exa uh, good result uh, resolution maybe they have a answer for me how to get it flying and behaving again ciao